All right, today we're gonna to take a look at the acid rain marine enclo. This is a, sort of like an APC vehicle in 118th scale. I uh, had my eye on this for a while, um, had a pre-order, cancel it, but then decided to order it when it came in stock at Big Bad Toy Store because it just looked so detailed. Um, you can see, well, there's not much on the packaging, but um, you know, it's got sort of the APC kind of look, like the, um, similar to the, the G.I. Joe APC. So I'm gonna break it out and we could put them side by side and kind of take a look at some of the details. Here it is all wrapped up. I'm gonna take it out real quick. So it comes pretty much fully assembled. You can see it's got kind of like a nice weathered uh, paint job on it. So it's different from the uh, like G.I. Joe toys that don't have any uh, weathering on them. And the detail's pretty awesome. It's really, really detailed. Six wheels like on the, uh, on the APC. Each one of these is a little squeaky. But um, kind of hard plastic, but a little bit soft. It's like somewhere in between. And uh, it rolls around pretty good. It looks like it's about you know, it's a lot bigger than a vamp. Put the vamp on the side. And you know, here it is next to the APC. So kind of similar. It's got these um, these wheels that you can change the height of them. Just kind of a neat feature. You know, so I'll bring them lower. So it's more like, looks more like a standard vehicle. And it's not, it's kind of uh, pretty equivalent to the APC. And the APC is a bit longer. Um, it's got some seating in the back, and the APC, as everyone knows, has a bunch of seating in the back. So I just thought, you know, of course they're not equivalent, because back in the day, you know, they didn't put in as much detail in there, but, but it's almost like a, like a modern take on the APC, like, um, you know, if G.I. Joe came out in 2022, you know, maybe maybe it would have something like this. It came with some cool little accessories. This neat uh, machine gun. And this is designed to attach like up here. So I think it just kind of goes right in. And it's got like a really nice articulation. You can um, you can kind of raise it up to be closer to the, the person coming through the hatch kind of push it down to be a little farther away and it rotates this hatch ring though doesn't spin so I don't think it does oh yeah it does that's awesome so you can rotate that and the uh, the guy inside can have a full field of fire to kind of angle down and up it's pretty neat and the hatch of course opens up also comes with this it's like a little uh, I think it's supposed to be a folding table So I guess that's neat if you're kind of using this as a, uh, a little forward base or command post. Don't want to break this. How do I get that? All right, well, let's come back to that. But you also get a couple gas cans and an ax. The gas cans, I think, like the one slips in here. Oh, and it's like a softer plastic. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually um, not like a hard plastic. And this one goes on that side. That's kind of neat, because um, it really holds in here. It doesn't feel like it's gonna come out. Um, like the friction's gonna hold it in there. And I think the axes just kind of pop on here. So when you put on there. And this one you know, goes on the other side. It's pretty neat. The vehicle's pretty, pretty nice. I'm gonna open up the interior, but get a little closer to it. Yeah, so here you can get a better view of it, a little closer up. But man, look at that detail, it's awesome. Here's the bottom, even the bottom is like pretty nice. You know, it looks workable. Like there's a drivetrain going to the, um, you know, to all the axles. And this is some kind of, you know, you'd assume some kind of like futuristic shared axle kind of like portal axle kind of deal going on there. 
and then what's really awesome about this is how it opens up so you can pop these up and then the entire front kind of pops open it pops right open there you go yeah so it's almost like a truck you know those trucks where you have to put up the cab to get to the engine and it's got a really nice like detailed interior the driver's seat and then these pop down seats for um you know for for people who are like like passengers i guess or you know, like the gunner and then you're supposed to be able to take this off and i think there's like a little engine or something in there there we go yeah it's a little a little anemic for the size of this vehicle i'd imagine it have a bigger engine but maybe that's just like access to part of the engine so you'd like change the oil and stuff like that it's pretty neat let me see if i can get that back in there yep just pop that in there that's pretty good yeah but you can see how nice the detailing is i mean when i saw the in inside of this that's what really sold me on it um you can see the screens you know for the driver all kinds of little details and then what's cool too is there's different ways to access this so the the one side door opens up i'll close this up it just really pops in there it snaps there you go yeah i don't want to break it but yeah this opens up and then this is pretty cool it like it's almost like a uh you know, like the back of most like APCs, like a like a troop ramp kind of comes down, and so you can have guys like running out of the front of that. I think this is articulated. Yeah, yeah. So you can actually like straighten that out, which is pretty neat. Yeah, I guess you could drive like a bike up in there, like a small uh, motorcycle or something. And then this doesn't open up. This opens up. And this back door opens. There you go. Yeah, so it really gives you like a lot of access to this. Which is really neat. Super cool. And you can see some of the detail in the gun. Very, very cool. And then I got these things. The Marine Bunker set. And I really only got it because it's got this like... um these top pieces this is where where they get you I had to buy these because I wanted to cover up the back so these form like a roof over this and make it like a solid um, APC kind of the way the the Joe APC you know the way that one you can um, you can cover it up you know except this came with the roof I had to get this separate I think it would have been fine without the roof, but I figured I'd get it because um, I'd probably be sad I didn't get it if I didn't try it. So let me put that on and show you guys how that works. All right, so I got the roof on. That wasn't too easy. It's kind of a pain to do. Maybe I'll show at the end how I did it, but you really just have to put all the four roof pieces back together, um, interlock all those, and then try to put it onto the, onto the vehicle. And it seems like it's something that the more you do it, the more it'll loosen up. I also added some uh, modern Joes to this, so you can kind of see the scale of the um, the figures relative to the vehicle. Let me move it in some a little bit closer. But you can see that the uh, the scale feels pretty good. You got bazooka man in the machine gun there, low light hanging out in the back, and beachhead coming out of the front. It looks pretty good. Looks looks really good with the back on, although I do like it with the back off too, so it's nice to have that option. And so here you can see the, the vehicle with the roof. You can see the back. This is a cool little um, like hitch thing that goes on the back that you can put a motorcycle on. I'm not sure you could probably fit a Ram cycle or like that little motorcycle that came with the, um, the killer whale. Or um, Acid Rain sells like a little motorcycle you can get too. But it's pretty expensive for how little it is, so I didn't get that. But I figure too, you could put supplies here, um, you know, hook other kinds of things in there. Like, um, yeah, I'm just grabbing this, but what's neat is like this lowers and then it kind of locks in whatever you're putting in there. So 
kind of a neat little attachment point kind of way of doing things. And there's also like little tabs here. So they always show like cargo and stuff on the roof of that or, um, you know, just attached to the roof, which is kind of a neat kind of thing. And then let me show you how this folds up. So if you're not using it, you can, you know, fold that away. And then this back opens up. And then it's like a, you know, like a ramp for troops to deploy from. But you can see, um, you know, the, the pieces like really cover it up, really enclose it. And this is neat. These kind of, um, these seats, you can like pull them out. So if you want to have it like be more open cargo space. And then, yeah, you still have that door that you can access and you can see all the way through. This is kind of like a little platform that you can push down to, um, to have the guy um, who's in the gunner's position, like have his feet like touching. But right now he's just kind of like floating up there and you yeah, know, it works pretty fine. But this also, um, the back hatch, it folds. Just show you how that happens. So this folds up and then this folds. And that kind of gives you that open back, which, you know, that might be cool for some troops. I've got these um, Joy Toy Russian Marine troops, I think. I'm gonna put them on that and see how they look. Cause they've got a more, um, more realistic kind of weathered look to them. Doors not super shutting, but I'm like kind of scared, you know, when you get a new toy, you don't want to like jam it shut. Oh, there we go. So yeah, they're pop shut. But um, man, I'm really liking how this looks. It definitely feels like something where like there's a ton of paint on this. Like you can even smell the paint. Um, it's really, you know, like probably gonna cure for like a year or something like that. But I think the more I move it, like all this stuff, you know, it's already like snapping better. Um, like this moves really freely now, which is kind of cool. That's really neat, really cool looking. I think this moves too. Yeah, like a little sensor. I can't get that to rotate and I don't want to break it if it doesn't. This is like really soft. This is like weird. Like it's just like super soft rubber where the rest of this part is pretty hard plastic. This feels a little more rubbery. And um, yeah, and like the gas cans I was saying, but let's see if I can get this open. Before the way, the thing I did was um, to get the door open. I'll probably leave it kind of like not super shut. Just uh, pop these. If you can get them to pop up. And then, you know, like open this. And I just kind of pushed it from the inside. So I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, anything breaking. Let me put, a guy, put some guys inside. And then we can see how the seats fit and stuff like that. So I took the back off again. Um, that came off a lot easier knowing how it goes on and stuff. So I feel a lot better putting it on, taking it off. But um, you can see there, so got Bazooka driving and he fits pretty good. He's a pretty big uh, figure, but still he, um, he fits in there pretty good. See him driving. The steering wheel is surprisingly made of this really soft plastic. So it's a little weird. It's kind of hard to get his hands on it, but uh, not too bad. And then there's the seating over there. See the doors open. Beachhead, this figure, just, I don't know why they designed it this way, but like you can't get him in a seated position. So I just got him standing here next to the door. But you know, that looks good. You can see low light taking up one of the uh, bench seats here. And then there's bench seats here in the, uh, in the cockpit. And I guess a guy would fit in there. There's foot pegs. I think the modern Joes, the foot pegs, they seem to be a little small for the, um, the acid rain foot pegs. That's not too big a deal. But yeah, this is really, really nice. Uh, nice toy. I'm really excited I got it. I'm going to go grab some Joy Toy figures and just see how those um, line up with it as well. So I threw some Joy Toy figures in there. You can see they match up pretty well with the, um, the modern Joe figures. And they also work with this acid rain vehicle. I don't know. I haven't just I haven't gotten any of the acid rain figures because they're they're kind of pricey, and I just like the joy toy ones. They're they're a little more um, I don't know the aesthetic, a little more futuristic, and they're not as weathered, which I, I like that as well. But but they're cool as well. So there you go. I think I'll take some pictures. These guys, you know, posed out on it, and then uh, finish it out. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. 
Hope you guys, um, you know, got something out of this. Definitely think it's a great vehicle, great toy. Amazing amount of detail. I mean, just look at that. Just, just so neat. And I think it would work with, um, you know, definitely work with GI Joes if you want to get them like a modern, uh, a modern vehicle, modern replacement for the APC, and something that more fits the four-inch scale versus the three and three-quarter. I, I should put some, uh, some of the classic Joes on this too. They, they might look cool. But um, thanks again for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Yo, Joe.